Hi, I'm Sean Smith from South Coast Yachts, the Beneteau dealer here in San Diego, California. And today I'm standing behind the brand new 2016 Oceana 60. We're gonna take a quick uh, video look and tour of the boat. Come join me as we hop on board. This Oceana 60 is a 2016 model year. We have it in a painted blue, uh, flag blue hull. There's a 24 karat gold cove stripe. You can see the logo is the same gold. And it has a red boot stripe with red bottom paint. Looks incredibly classy. And then the painted blue main sheet arch. Going up forward, you can see there is a solid teak tow rail all the way along the boat. And then at the bow, we have a stainless steel bow pulpit with a stainless delta anchor. There's an electric windlass there and the anchor chain comes straight into this bow locker, accessible from the forward storage cabin. Beautiful anchor, there's teak on the top of that stainless bow sprit there, and that fitting on the tip is the attachment point for an asymmetric spinnaker or code zero. You see it's gorgeous, gorgeous blue hull. It's got a furling head sail. You can also put a solent stay or stay sail rigging. The fitting is already in place. The large horn cleats with stainless steel chase guards for dock lines. And then looking at this mast, it's got an in-mast furling mainsail, three spreader rig, and it has inboard shrouds with an overlapping Genoa. There's a radar already up there on the mast. And this boat, we put LED lights on the spreader so the mast looks elegant at night, all lit up. There's also lights inside the arch here, which are white or blue. On both sides of the boat, there is a gate to enter. You can enter from the transom or from either side where these gates fold up and are held in place by the lifeline. Brilliant invention to board the vessel. I've got a remote here to open up the transom. This Oceana 60 has a remote, so I just press this button and the transom opens up. So another way to board the vessel is if you have it backed in, you can walk right onto the transom. And that step is all peak covered and there's an inlet for a swim ladder. This is a dinghy garage. So there's cushions for the laying out on the platform, but it's also a storage facility, a storage area underneath. And those lazarettes open up so you can store gear inside. Lots of room there. Quickly, I'll show you the port side. There are vents and you can hear the water running. The air conditioning is on inside the boat. And on this year, on the 60 model, they made these uh, windows into the salon area much larger than the previous boat so you'll see when we get inside with tons of natural light inside the boat forward from the transom here easy step on board and then there's a little latch here this I think is a brilliant system just a couple of steps that come down to walk into the transom to board the boat very large cockpit here. You can see the two helms with the white graphite wheels. Got a, on the port side, our shore power, air conditioning power controls, our propane locker is here. There's courtesy lighting all around the boat with LED lights. And then sweeping across, you can see lots of seating area. One more storage locker here for a life raft. And the teak on this boat, we went with a light colored grout. It looks very classy. The starboard helm station is our primary helm station. So coming forward, we'll take a look. You have a, a chart plotter, bow thruster. You have your compass. This is all of your lighting. You can see it's labeled. Spreader lights, deck courtesy, etc. This is a chain counter for our electric windlass and anchor. And this is brilliant. Our uh, Volvo Penta. 150 horsepower uh, diesel, turbo diesel engine, has electronic throttle control, there's a little key fob, 
So you don't need an ignition key, but simply a sensor to turn on the boat. And then you've got a digital display for temperature, RPM, speed, all of the engine data is found here. From the helm stations, you'll see on both sides of the boat, we have access, we can quickly reach over and trim our head sail. And along with that remote I use to open the transom, there's also a switch here that does the same thing, up and down. All of the winches on board are electric, two-speed Harkin winches. Inside the pedestal, there's a storage pocket. And that same color blue um, canvas here is what all of the cockpit cushions that are included with the boat uh, look like. On the port side, we've got a chart plotter, which you can see all of your wind data. You have the sail steer, which is a great system. See right now, 3.8.6 apparent wind here at the dock. And then all three of these chart plotters are, are linked together. You've got the largest one central in the cockpit on a gimbal, so you can move it any direction you'd like. The central table is solid teak wood that we've got varnished. The Beneteau inlay, lots of storage inside here, and then each of these leaves here fold up to make a table. I was on a 60 in Catalina Island um, for our Beneteau rendezvous and found this was very popular as a handhold, but also anything you put in that table, there's a stainless steel bar that keeps it there as the boat's healing, when you're sailing. It's a brilliant invention. Over on the port side, you can see this is where our halyards, we've got everything labeled, so it's easy to understand the lines. Main sheet comes here, and this is an electric one as well, so you can trim your sails, everything with the push of a button. See the main sheet arch, and then just symmetric on the starboard side is the solid stainless steel and leather wrapped handrail, and then you've got a couple halyards and a couple of extra clutches in case you add a staple or any other rigging. Coming up forward, this is an elegant entry system for the boat. We've got it unlocked. There's a Beneteau uh, electric actuator that opens up the companionway door. So once you've unlocked that, the companionway door recesses down and I can just push the companionway door open into the boat. Coming into the boat, very um, elegant interior, um, uh, the mahogany alpi wood. You can see I've just got four steps coming down with the stainless steel handrail that's leather wrapped. Starting off the starboard here, take a step back and you can see you've got a full nav station. Just behind is one of my favorite features. This is a beverage locker, uh, it's refrigeration. Underneath is your washer dryer, an option from the factory. And at this station, we have another chart plotter. We've got our VHF radios. This is a wireless one to go into the cockpit. Fusion stereo control. I've got an inverter. And then this is my DC panel where I can turn all the breakers for lights, navigation. Um, everything is labeled, easy to operate. I even have my tanks here for fuel, fresh water, and amperage for the batteries. Great nav table here. You've got a nice uh, leather all throughout the interior of the boat. There's lots of USB ports to here too. Lots of people are charging cell phones. You've got one here to plug in right to the, the stereo. So you can plug in your iPhone, iPad, and play any music you'd like. Looking up forward, we'll sweep across the salon here. You can see a, a folding salon table to make that a large dining area. We've got a nice settee here, which has an ice maker forward we'll take a look at. And then lots of storage here with this uh, wraparound galley that has two stainless sinks. Very large sink here. And then we've got a cutting board and second stainless sink here. Microwave. We've got storage. And so you can store your plates. There's some um, devices for holding your plates. This is a great cutlery drawer. I like how they have all this organized with soft closed doors as well. A lock into place. And something you don't see on a lot of boats, a dishwasher here. 
This is a front-loading refrigerator. Plenty of space there. And then also we've got a top-loading freezer compartment here, which you can dial back for just additional refrigeration if you'd like, still maintaining a freezer at the top. There's a pin here to make it close. And we're all set. A, a great feature here that we really enjoyed while using uh, the boat is a trash container here where you can really just sweep anything into and then there's access here to that trash bin. So while you're using the boat, while you're in the galley, it's common to just have quick access to a trash bin and that works out perfectly. Just forward of the galley is a great feature here. Push this electric switch and then elevating here is a bar where you can put all of your top shelf um, beverages. Very classy. This comes all the way up with a mirror. Great storage area. And then up forward, convenient uh, to your bar, is an ice maker. There's storage underneath the settee here. Indirect lighting, you can see the LED lights all around the boat and even the LED blue lights on the companionway set. Here are a couple thermostats for our air conditioning which is on. And then coming up forward we'll take a look into the master cabin. The master cabin is very spacious. We've got a large centerline queen bed here you can enter from both sides. Large windows, LED lighting everywhere couple of opening LED uh, hatches that have screens to either block out light or just a mosquito screen. Nicely done. There are storage lockers on both sides and also a desk that's pre-wired to have a TV inside this forward cabin. You see lots of storage. I've got three large doors here. So we've got shelves and also a hanging locker. They've done a great job with the interior. You've got a space for shoes. It's very smart in the layout for storage. A couple of benches and air conditioning thermostat here for the forward cabin. This boat we ordered with the taupe interior. Matches the mahogany alpy wood very well. And then also the white it looks very elegant. You've got electric quiet flush heads here. Nice sink vanity with storage behind the mirror and then a large separate shower so you've got a door here and you've got a very high-end um, shower nozzle there so there's the control and sump switch very nicely done I also really like what they did here there's magnets holding the doors in place you've got a nice mirror and then also look at this um, leather storage area, a nice leather hand, um, stitched storage area. That door stays in place with a magnet. And now we'll come back and ch check out both of our aft cabins. This boat has three interior cabins, three heads, and also has a fourth cabin up in the bow, a captain's quarter that has its own bed. Here you've got a nice desk, little nav station, and then you've got the berth. Again, the taupe interior, recessed LED lighting, we've got some light coming in, and three opening hatches inside the boat for ventilation. Here's the second, and the third is through that aft uh, window there. Just forward, we've got our, our thermostat for this cabin, and again, the beautiful leather storage pocket. This stateroom has its own head, which is private. Electric head again. Storage. And then separate shower with two opening vents. There's also easy access to your holding tank there, which has a gauge to show you. Uh, it has a uh, holding tank gauge on, on all of the heads. Into the port side, this is great access. This is where all, more of our breakers are going to be. All of our battery breakers are just to the port side of the companionway. 
access to generator here into this cabin another spacious cabin these are all the cockpit cushions we currently have stored in this port side aft cabin that has its own air conditioning control three opening hatches also has its own hanging locker and private entrance to a head so separate shower once again electric jobs go ahead opening ports very beautiful in this port side aft cabin you have access to all of the AC breakers, more of the controls of the boat, chargers. If you're going to run your um, generator, you turn the gen set on here. You can go to the generator power. Then you've got breakers for air conditioning, amperage. It's all very well done. Easy to see what's going on opening up this compartment here. couple locks on those we're all set last thing to check out I'll show you how easy it is to access the engine underneath this staircase here you can pick up anywhere on the staircase and it has hydraulic struts that assist bringing the hatch up and then that gives us access to the Volvo Penta 150 horsepower turbo diesel engine you can see our fuel filters there's a panel that gives us quick access to our filters and also look at the size of these alternators. Quick access to your sea strainer, that's very easy to access. Filter quick checks, very easy to access this uh, great engine. Thank you for joining me on this quick tour of the 2016 Beneteau Oceana 60 that's currently available right now in San Diego for sale. If you have interest in this boat, please give me a call right away. Find out if the boat is still available and I'll get you on board to take a look. Thank you very much.